SpaceX successfully launches Falcon Heavy for the fourth time ever. SpaceX has launched its Falcon Heavy rocket on a mission for the U.S. Space Force. This is the fourth launch of the company's heavy payload launch vehicle, which first flew in 2018. Today's launch also marks SpaceX's 50th in 2022. The payload for today's launch includes two U.S. Space Force satellites, including one used for various prototype missions in geosynchronous orbit, and another whose nature and purpose is classified for national defense purposes. While SpaceX uses Falcon Heavy a lot less frequently than its Falcon 9 rocket, Heavy's last launch was in 2019. It has a solid track record across its four flights. The Falcon Heavy uses three boosters for added thrust and lift capacity versus Falcon 9's single core. Let us take this moment to like, share, and subscribe this channel for more videos like this. The mission also included a successful landing of both the side boosters on land, marking the 150th and 151st successful landing of SpaceX's orbital rockets. The center core was not recovered since it was set in expendable mode to use the max amount of fuel to get the payload to its target orbit. A wispy plume and an orbital sunset combined for a knockout view from space. Some text goes here what does a rocket launch look like? It depends where you see it from. Nearby, it looks like a fiery, roaring beast as the rocket and spacecraft ascend. If you're on the International Space Station orbiting above Earth, you might see an ethereal, wispy ghost formation in the distance. On Wednesday, NASA's ISS account tweeted a look at SpaceX's January 15 Falcon Heavy rocket launch from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The stunning views are just as much art as science. An external camera on the ISS captured the view of the launch plume. The images show a white, undulating shape reaching upward from above the curve of the Earth. The planet is dark below and space is dark above. A Falcon Heavy launch is a special occasion. It's SpaceX's biggest rocket, at least until the next-gen Starship gets going and it doesn't launch nearly as often as the company's standard workhorse Falcon 9. The January mission carried a U.S. military satellite into orbit. The ISS was 262 miles, 422 kilometers, above the Atlantic Ocean at the time, and it was just past an orbital sunset. Astronauts on board experienced 16 sunrises and sunsets each day, but this one was notable thanks to the bonus fireworks of the launch. SpaceX is just getting started on a busy 2023 launch schedule. ISS dwellers can look forward to more scenic views in the months ahead, but the combination of a sunset and Falcon Heavy will be hard to beat.